All right, so here I'm going to be doing a uh, oil change on a 2019 RAV4 Hybrid XLE. I'm going to go ahead and grab the camera and just bring you guys a little closer in. You can see there's a little access panel there with four 10 millimeter bolts. So you need to go ahead and remove that. Now, feel free to, uh, you know, fast forward through this video as needed. Some of this uh, video footage is uh, pretty standard in regards to the steps that are needed. So you don't need to watch the whole process if you uh, understand the steps that are needed to, you know, obviously remove the, the cover, for example, or remove the drain plug and, and filter. So if you're comfortable for that, you know, just uh, fast forward to the areas that you need uh, some help on or looking to get some tips. Um, you know, all the oil change itself for this hybrid uh, 2019 Toyota RAV4. All right, so here I'm trying to zoom in on the uh, oil filter. Um, I believe it's 90915-10009. Now, this is the oil filter that came on the vehicle. Um, after calling my local Toyota de dealer, uh, they said I could use um, uh, another oil filter. I think it's uh, 90915. Um, and then I'll show you guys. I think it's uh, 1ZZ. F2, um, but I'll show you a close-up of that uh, on the bench here a little bit later. Anyways, that's where you're going to need to drain the oil out off that plug and then remove the oil filter. Pretty standard uh, with the steps here based on uh, um, other oil changes for any other vehicle. Uh, the interesting thing is that they went back to a canister filter here for the, uh, the 2019 as opposed to the cartridge style uh, that's been used for a few years. All right, so here I'm just uh, trying to set up the camera uh, to uh, show you guys the shot of the oil drain and uh, oil filter removal. Um, really isn't rocket science, just, you know, pull the uh, drain plug out, remove the oil filter, and um, let it drain out. So if you guys want to skip forward, uh, feel free. This isn't... Uh, exhilarating uh, video watching here at this point, so I'm just uh, running through the process. And just as a heads up, um, Toyota still uses the same 14 millimeter socket uh, for the drain plug or drain bolt, so nothing's changed there. All right, so here I'm using a uh, oil filter uh, cap socket um, that I got from Amazon many years ago. It works well um, on the cartridge type uh, oil filters, and uh, it does fit this oil canister uh, as well. I'll give you the part number uh, for what that is here at the end. There isn't much clearance to get a, a socket on the back cap of this um, aluminum uh, cap socket that fits the filter. Um, so I basically had to just get an adjustable wrench 
uh, once I put on the uh, the oil filter uh, cap socket to uh, to break it loose. Um, there really just wasn't room um, to fit everything up in there. Uh, so that's what I'm just sort of looking at right now. Putting the oil uh, drain plug back in. So here's a close-up shot uh, of the oil filter. As you can see, there's just not much room to get uh, a ratchet and a socket. All right, so here's a comparison of the uh, original oil filter that came when I purchased the vehicle, um, the 90915-10009, and then the other filter, which is the 90915-YZZF2. Uh, this is the one the Toyota dealer told them that uh, uh, I, I could use on this vehicle. Um, now I did uh, do some researching and if you do look up the YZFF2 it does say that it replaces the one da the 10009 and here's a top-down view as you can see the uh, the size is pretty much the same uh, the thread pitch and thread type is the same a little bit different as far as the uh, the, the holes in the top uh, for the hole, but I haven't noticed any difference. Um, you know, like I said, Toyota, my local Toyota dealer said that this was the right filter uh, to use. Um, so I went ahead and uh, proceeded with the oil change with this particular oil filter. And before I start to put, pour the oil back in, here's a, a screenshot of the part um, that I use to remove the uh, the oil filter. Uh, like I said, it, it comes in handy for the the cartridge and canister types uh, for Toyota. All right, so here I'm just uh, pouring back in the oil. Um, I'm using 0W16, which is what it calls for for spec. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it calls for <clears throat> um, 4.4, 4 4.8 quarts. Um, I think 4.8 with the, uh, the oil filter. Um, so that's pretty standard. Just pour the oil back in and then um, check the dipstick when you get close and then top it off as needed. Okay, so here's a video, the last section here, um, on how to reset <clears throat> the required maintenance light. You're going to use that circular OK and uh, round uh, buttons on the, uh, the steering wheel. And you're going to uh, scan through over to the settings. And then you want to scroll down. Actually, I went too far. So you want to scroll down in the settings. Keep going till you get to the vehicle settings. And then in there, you can go ahead and see there's a scheduled maintenance option, and then you just push OK to reset it and reset data. Yes, and then that'll reset it. So it's a little different than the usual push the trip, you know, holding A, um, and then push the button, the start button twice. You no longer need to do that. Uh, so this is a little tricky to find uh, this process. And that should be it. Good luck with your oil change.